Thank you, Pastor. Everybody praise the Lord. You are here tonight for freedom. Transformational freedom. Supernatural freedom. I want you to think that every word we read, every word from Christ, every word from heaven comes to you personally, individually, as a person that is going to be set free tonight. It will happen in Jesus' name. Some people attend meetings like this as if we are here. But if you think, if you believe that you as an individual, I am here. And that this program was put together because of me. Miracle will happen in your life. Everything you have been missing before, everything that eluded you in the past, today will be your day. Miracle from on high, freedom from on high, salvation from on high, peace of mind and the joy of heaven in your heart in Jesus' name. I will not miss my miracle. Anywhere you are here, anywhere you are in the world, you are connected to a television, you are connected to the radio, online, you are there, you know that this global crusade is for you as an individual and that heaven will reach out to you and touch your life miracle has started already in your life if you are there you are not thinking about this or that that person or the other person and you know here am i let the heavens open on my life wherever you are raise up your hand we're praying together father in the mighty name of jesus we come today this force crusade this first day and we're asking that lord heaven will reach out to everyone power will reach out to everyone deliverance salvation freedom forgiveness everything you have in store for us in heaven pour it down for everyone in jesus name glorify yourself in every life thank you lord because we know you have answered and we will see your manifestation in every life tonight in jesus name thank you it is done in my life in my life it is done the Lord confirm it in every life in Jesus name please you can sit down tonight we're coming to Mark chapter 5 there are three things I'm looking at in Mark chapter 5 one there was a demon possessed man he had been there for a long time like that but Jesus came and on that day that wonderful day that he met jesus deliverance came to him number one he was set free from evil spirit from evil power and from evil manipulation and tonight anyone bound anyone under attack anyone under affliction affliction of the devil deliverance has come for you tonight in jesus name number one sets us free from demons number two in that same chapter we have a, a woman having disease the disease had been for a long time and she had tried she's gone here and gone there 
I should try to get free from that disease. Again, it was when she met Jesus, like you are meeting Jesus tonight. The healer, the deliverer, and the one that sets us free from every, every form of disease. You meet him tonight, you are free in Jesus' name. A disease had been for a long, long time. And yet, no matter how long that disease had been, that deprivation had been, and that injury in your life, in her life, had been, Jesus had been living from all eternity before Satan before sin entered the world and before sickness entered the world and because jesus the eternal one is wonderful is mighty there is nothing impossible with him she met jesus and she was healed tonight i'm introducing jesus to you he never lost any battle he never missed anyone and tonight healing comes to you freedom from disease number three i told you number one there was demon in a man and the lord set him free disease in the woman and the lord set her free now the thought there's a home and in that home the messenger of death visited them in the home and christ came the living one anywhere christ comes life will replace death and when christ comes to you today life will replace death in your life in jesus name and as Jesus entered, the people were already crying. He said, don't cry. The child is not dead in his own evaluation. Because he knew before he ever got to that room and before he taught that girl, he knew that girl will come alive. And tonight, before we even pray, the Lord I see you there. Give me a good amen. amen. And any form of death in your life, the Lord Jesus will drive that messenger of death away from your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Mark chapter 5. A man, a woman, a teenager. Mark chapter 5 the problem of demonic possession and the problem of disease ravaging a life and the problem of death wanting to cut short that girl's life every form of problem all the problems you can think about either demonic or death or demons or disease Christ is in authority and he can set you free and tonight your freedom has come my freedom has come let, let me read to you now i'm looking at mark chapter 5 i'm reading from verse 15 it says and they come to jesus and see him that was possessed with the devil and had the legion he had a lot of devils inside him and he was now sitting and clothed and in his right mind and they were afraid they were surprised they were amazed it bothered them 
How could that happen? In one single word, the Lord Jesus in his authority and divine power are driven the devils away. One word tonight. That one word comes to you and your problems are over. Look at number two. I'm reading from verse 25. In verse 25, and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years and then in verse 26 it says and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing bettered but rather from year to year from month to month from day to day she grew worse and then in verse 27 when she heard of Jesus who are we talking about tonight who are you hearing about tonight Jesus. when she heard of Jesus when you hear of Jesus salvation will come forgiveness will come peace of mind will come the joy of life will come to you only one thing here of Jesus he is the problem solver he solves all the problems of your life and he takes away all the heartache and all the evil that had bombarded your life welcome welcome to your freedom tonight in Jesus name when she had heard of Jesus she came you have to come she came you have to make an effort you have to come i'll touch jesus i'll believe in jesus i will lean on jesus i will confess to jesus i will lay all my problems down at the feet of jesus you come he came from heaven so that it can touch your life it can give you freedom now because he came and he says your freedom is here supernatural freedom you have to come unto the lord she came in the press behind and touched his garment look at verse 28 in verse 28 for she said you must say something you cannot just uh, fold your hand and close your mouth and close your eyes and just just be there plastic just standing there you're sick you have to say something to god you know you are a sinner you need salvation you have to say something to christ you are demon possessed you are tormented by demons and you want total freedom supernatural freedom you have to open your mouth you have to say say something to the lord you say lord i'm here you say lord i believe in you you say lord freedom comes to me today you say lord i cannot carry my problem back because you are the problem taker and you are the salvation giver she said if i may but touch its clothes i shall behold say i will receive total freedom freedom for the body freedom for the soul freedom for the mind and freedom for my spirit you say it for she said you must say something you are here so that you make your need you make your aspiration you make your desire you make your demand known unto the lord you are here for him and he is here for you and he will solve your problem for she, for she said if i may but touch his clothes i shall behold he said this is my day she said i whatever happens to others whatever others get whatever others do not get i shall behold number one a problem of demon 
Number two, a problem of disease. Number three, a problem of death. Look at verse 35. In verse 35, while he yet speak, there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said, Thy daughter is dead. Why troublest thou the master any further? Look at verse 36. In verse 36, as soon as Jesus heard the word that was spoken, he says unto the ruler of the synagogue, Be not afraid, only believe. He said, It's not the size of the problem. It's not the height of the mountain. It's not the length of days the problem has taken. It is not what the people of the world say and they write up your daughter or your son or maybe yourself. It is not what they say. It is what you bring out in your mind. Be not afraid. Only believe. Tonight I believe. I believe for you. You believe for yourself and you join your faith with my faith. The Lord Jesus already believed. That's why he said unto the man, unto the father, unto the head of the house, he said, be not afraid, only believe. And as you believe tonight, your problems are solved. Tonight, I'm talking to you on transformational freedom through faith in Christ. Transformational, something that will transform your heart, transform your body, transform your soul, transform your situation, transform you through and through, inward, outward, external internal that will transform you completely transformational freedom through faith in christ we're looking at this under three subtitles we're looking at number one amazing freedom from the shackles of the devil amazing freedom surprising freedom a kind of freedom the man was not even expecting will it come will it not come it will come amazing freedom from the shackles of the devil number two announced freedom that woman announced it to herself and she said 12 years of israel blood i have suffered I've spent money and it's like I've come to the end of my rope. And then she announced, if I may but touch the hem of his garment, I today, I shall be made whole. Announce freedom from sickness and disease. Number three, applicable freedom from the spirit of death tonight you're free yeah. say to yourself tonight i am free yeah. you are free in jesus name yeah. let's look at number one there number one amazing freedom from the shackles of the devil when you look at mark chapter five and i'm reading from verse two mark chapter 5 verse 2 and when he was come out of the sheep that is when christ came out of the sheep immediately there met him out of the tombs a man with an unclean spirit a violent spirit a destructive spirit look at verse 3 there in verse 3 it says who had his dwelling among the tombs he couldn't live normal in a normal place in a normal house in a normal situation so he had his dwelling 
in the tombs and it says and no man could bind him no not with chains verse 4 in verse 4 it tells us because that he had been often bound with fetters with chains and the chains had been plugged asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces neither could any man tempt him any man no matter how strong no matter how trained as an expert to deal with people having a mental problem that are lunatics that had so much power of the demon of the devil in him verse 5 in verse 5 and always night and day he was in the mountains and in the tombs crying and cutting himself with stones verse 6 tells us but when you saw Jesus afar off your problem is coming to an end when he saw Jesus afar off you know whatever the challenge had been and they say is that devil is that Satan it's Lucifer is the old serpent don't worry about that about the source of the problem about the strength of the oppressor it says when he saw Jesus afar off he ran and worshipped him that's all you do you run in the direction of Jesus you run at the to the feet of Jesus you run so that you can be in the presence of Jesus and that's why I call people at the end of the message you want to see Jesus you want to see the Savior you want to see the Redeemer you want to have your problem solved wherever you are raise up your hand and the Lord will see that hand he will know that your heart your mind is passionate after the Lord is pursuing after the Lord you want to reach the Lord and he wants to reach you and you take that step of faith with the assurance once I see see him tonight and I touch him tonight I am all right you'll be all right tonight I said you'll be all right tonight and then he tells us in verse 7 in verse 7 it says and he cried with a loud voice and said what have I to do with thee look at this man running to Jesus that the devil talking inside him have you noticed you want to do something go right and then there's another void that will say go left that's not you you overlook that one you abandon that one you neglect that one the one that says come to Jesus this is the day the one that says bow to Jesus this is your day the one that says confess to Jesus this is your day that's the one you listen to but the other one that says another thing you're not going to listen to that and so he said Jesus thou son of the most high I adjure thee that by God that thou torment me no that's not the man that's the devil I pray you will not yield to the voice of the devil and the Lord is calling you and as the Lord wants to set you free today and he wants to give you this freedom in your spirit in your soul in your mind in your inner man and there is a desire you want to be with the Lord any other voice that contradicts that that says why will you come look at this look at this look at that that one is not your portion and so in verse 8 look at verse 8 it says and he said unto him come out of the man thou unclean spirit that's the final word i said that the final word once the lord speaks to that evil personality 
he speaks to that evil power he speaks to that evil spirit that had been controlling your life tormenting your life hurting your life hindering your progress once the lord says come out of the man thou unclean spirit that very moment it will come out you will be free like tonight you are free verse 15 tells us the result in verse 15 it tells us it says in verse 15 and they come to jesus they wanted to come and see and they see him that was possessed with the devil he was no more he was possessed he was no more possessed at this time who was possessed with the devil and arch the legion he arch the legion after christ has spoken after christ has commanded after the word of authority and the word of the decree of christ had come he didn't have the legion anymore they were all gone today they'll all be gone and then it says he was sitting he was closed and in his right mind and they were afraid they were surprised they were amazed at the amazing freedom that christ had given to the man i want you to look at mark chapter 9 and we're looking at verse 20 mark chapter 9 verse 20 and they brought him unto him that is they brought the child the boy the son of the man that had the torment of the devil they brought that child to him to christ and when he saw him straightway the spirit cheer him and he fell on the ground and wallowed foaming verse 21 in verse 21 and jesus and he asked his father how long is it ago since this came unto him and he said of a child in verse 22 and he said and up times he has cast him into the fire and into the waters to destroy him but if thou canst do anything have compassion on us and help us did jesus help him yes and jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever will jesus help you today his compassions they fail not his compassions they reach unto heaven his compassion is from generation to generation from man to man from one woman to another woman from one child to another child his compassion is still there today and he says if thou canst do anything my friend he can do everything the creator of the earth can do everything the one that you call our problems all our sins all our sickness that you call our problems to the cross of calvary he can do everything the one that is not willing that anyone should perish he doesn't want the sinner to perish he doesn't want the sufferer to perish he doesn't want even the scorner to perish he doesn't want any man anywhere anytime in any generation he doesn't want anyone to perish he can help he will help tonight he will help you tonight he will deliver you and look at what jesus said in verse 23 in verse 23 jesus said unto him if thou canst believe that's all we need i told you all we need is to understand the one who created the whole earth with a single word 
he can do everything believe that the one who says come unto me all ye that labor and are heavy laden and i will give you rest he invited you already and because he invited you you can believe if thou canst believe the one who has said people like you in days gone by he has healed many people he has delivered many people he has taken drug addicts and he has taken the drugs away from them him, the person was giving peace of mind rest in their soul to other people is here for you and so you ought to believe it. and if thou canst believe all things are possible to him that believeth I believe I believe they can deliver every demon possessed here tonight. I believe he can set free anyone that is bound with any yoke and any chain and any fetters. He can deliver everyone like that tonight. And your own time has come. He will deliver you. In Hebrews chapter 2, reading from verse 14, Hebrews chapter 2 reading from verse 14 for as much then as the children are partakers of flesh and blood he also himself likewise took part of the same that he through death might destroy him that had the power of death that is the devil he has died for us and he has fulfilled the prophecy that the serpent will bruise his heel but the son of god the seed of the woman will blow up will destroy will crush the head of that serpent that serpentine spirit in your life the head is crushed tonight that demonic power tormenting your life and wanting to make you live like an animal instead of living a dignified life of a real child of God that demonic devil that demonic serpent the head is crushed tonight in Jesus name look at verse 15 in verse 15 and deliver them who through fear of death were all their lifetime I'm subject to bondage those who have subjected themselves to bondage because of the power of the evil one tonight deliverance has now come in first John chapter 3 we're looking at verse 8 verse 8 John first John chapter 3 verse 8 he that committed sin is of the devil for the devil seen it from the beginning for this purpose for this reason to this end because of this it says the son of god was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil it is finished all the works of the devil finished the torment of the devil finished and the dribbling of the devil drive you here drive you there and drive you everywhere all the dribbling of the devil finish and destroy tonight in jesus name amazing freedom is coming to you because of what christ has done what christ has accomplished what christ announced what christ decreed and he said it is finished that amazing freedom is come tonight and you're free from all the shackles of the devil yeah. we're coming to number two number two is the announced freedom from the from sickness and disease sickness there are many kinds of sickness all manner of sicknesses the lord will deliver you tonight internal painful terrible long-standing your healing has come tonight freedom from sickness and freedom from disease anything that takes your ease away 
that takes your peace away, that takes your mind. You, you cannot even think of any other thing. All you can think of is the pain you have, is the oppression you have, is the destruction of different parts of your body. You cannot think of any good, any good work any good intention all that pain has taken your attention away from a bright future a great future but that they announced freedom from sickness and disease who makes the announcement you make the announcement the woman made the announcement that if i may only touch the hem of his garment i shall be made whole your word will set you free the word of faith in your mouth the word of expectation coming from your mouth and the word of assurance that today is my day are you blind you make the announcement i will see you are you deaf and dumb you make the announcement for your son for your daughter for your wife for your husband they will hear they will see are, they, are you bedridden you've been there for a long time and it appears huh, maybe i should be preparing to go home because this sickness may take my life your word can sell you into the hands of that disease but your word can also set you free and you say i shall be made whole can you say it now i'm going to get well tonight i'm i'm delivered tonight i am set free tonight our words can set us free announced freedom from sickness and disease we're looking at mark chapter 5 you remember all these three cases come from mark chapter 5 mark chapter 5 reading from verse 25 and a certain woman which had an issue of blood 12 years verse 26 in verse 26 and had suffered many things of many physicians and had spent all that she had and was nothing better just going down and down and down and my stone end in the grave but rather she grew worse worse and worse declining in health declining in strength declining in life because she was getting worse and worse by the day in verse 27 verse 27 says when she had heard of jesus thank god i have heard of jesus thank god i have heard of jesus i've read about him both in the old testament and the new testament a child is born his son is given to us and his name shall be called wonderful the mighty god and the father of eternity i have heard of jesus i followed him in the new testament in capernaum in nazareth and in all the places everywhere healing the sick and jesus christ the same yesterday today and forever i have heard of jesus and here you are at the gck at the crusade and you are hearing about jesus at the moment you hear about Jesus everything you heard that Jesus can do he will do in your life when she had heard of Jesus came in the press behind and touched his garment verse 28 in verse 28 it says for she said if i i'm not going to call peter to come and touch jesus for me i will touch him myself i'm not going to call mary to come and touch jesus for me i will touch him myself i'm not going to send somebody go and touch jesus for me i will touch jesus myself where you are christ is by your side right there and the moment you stretch out your hand of faith 
you touch him tonight your healing will be deposited in your body if i may but touch his clothes i shall behold then in verse 29 and straightway the fountain of her blood was dried up that sickness tonight will dry up that pain tonight will dry up that difficulty challenge to rise and to walk everything will dry up and that thing is it pile that pile will dry up is it cancer that cancer tonight will dry up is it ulcer look at that that thing is drying up already is it abscess you know something they give you whatever and then it formed an abscess and pores coming out praise the lord i see it drying up it says and it dries up and she felt in her body that she was healed of that plague and then we're told in uh, verse 29 in verse 29 straight where the fountain of her blood was dried up and she felt it in her body you feel it in your body you feel the joy in your heart that she was healed i'll feel it i am healed i am healed of that plague it will not come back to me anymore <laughs> say it with assurance it will not come back to you anymore in jesus name. look at Bastachi. in Bastachi, it says and jesus immediately knowing in himself that virtue had gone out of him turned him about in the press and said who touched my clothes we'll eventually look at verse 34 there in verse 34 here we're told about why it happened and how it's going to happen unto you and he said unto her daughter thy faith has made thee whole go in peace and be whole of thy plague 12 years of harassing problem issue of blood wasting away that thing in a moment was healed at that time and all the problems were brought here as you look unto jesus as you announce your own freedom and you say i'm going to believe in jesus tonight and as i believe and i touch him by faith i will be made whole heaven has confirmed that the whole bible has confirmed that and your faith has confirmed it in jesus name look at second corinthians chapter 4 we're looking at verse 13 second corinthians chapter 4 verse 13 we having the same spirit of faith we having the same spirit of faith the same spirit of faith like that woman who has spent a lot of money and yet she never got any better the same spirit of faith with that woman who searched the time for healing and said the moment i touch him i shall be made whole the same spirit of faith with that woman that said 12 years will not add another day enough is enough i'm not going to have that disease anymore today at this moment at this very minute the moment i touch him i'm through the moment you touch jesus tonight you're through blind eyes will open the lame will rise up and walk and if you're on radio 
if you are on the television if you are online the, the time we mention the name of Jesus and you said that's mine that's mine that's mine wherever you are in this country in any other country Africa beyond Africa the moment you hear the name of Jesus and you claim that and you said that's mine that moment tonight you are healed in Jesus name because it says we having the same spirit of faith according as it is written I believe therefore have I spoken we also believe and therefore speak your word Christ will take your word and then he will make it personal and send it to the throne of the Father. And your word will come through Christ and go to the Father. And you are free tonight in Jesus' name. But remember, I announce my freedom from sickness and disease, from torment, from torture. I declare my freedom from pain and plague. Even before it happens, I announce have you announced your own i said have you announced your own it will happen yeah. we're coming to number three now number three we're looking at applicable freedom from the spirit of death let me explain applicable this girl was actually dead but you are not dead say i am not dead say i will not die premature death the lord confirmed that in your life in jesus but but there are different parts of the body that sometimes it's like they're dead the nerves dead and so you cannot um, fold your hand the knees dead and so you don't even have any feeling there and you cannot carry it and some parts of the kidneys dead and because they are dead they are not functioning anymore the cells in the brain they say that one is dead and this that one is dead and different parts of the brain they have those dead cells there and because they are dead you cannot remember you cannot recall you cannot uh, do anything uh, and your brain cannot send information instruction uh, to your hand to your feet or different parts of your body and the membranes or the, the thing in the ear is dead and because they are dead I cannot hear those things are still there the elements or whatever they are still there but they are dead and then your throat you cannot speak because the vocal cord is dead whatever is dead in any area any part of your body they're coming alive tonight in jesus name you remember abraham concerning abraham the word of god says that she didn't stagger he didn't stagger at the promise of god because the part reproductive part of sarah the wife was dead she wasn't dead but that part of the body was dead and I, he believed in god life came i didn't hear the amen i was waiting for and child laughter was born laughter born in your life today joy born in your life today excitement excitement that what was dead in my body has now come alive life will come to you in mark chapter 5 verse 35 mark chapter 5 verse 35 while he yet speak there came from the ruler of the synagogue's house certain which said thy daughter is dead your daughter will not die your son will not die whoever is bringing that message of death to you 
and say don't pray anymore don't expect anymore and they don't have faith anymore jesus tells you be not afraid only believe and anybody that will come to you and say ah don't mind jesus be afraid don't believe the spirit of god will drive that person away from you it says a certain we said thy daughter is dead why troubles thou the master anymore but start his sakes in but start his sakes as soon as jesus heard the word that was spoken well, you need to understand jesus does not walk by the word your neighbors speak your friends speak your enemies speak the observers speak where did you go i went for crusade gck where did you go i want a solution to my problem and then your neighbor will say i don't think you of all people do you think anything will happen you don't listen to what what they say i will not listen in the word jesus has said now he said he heard what that person what that neighbor said he said to the ruler of the synagogue be not afraid only believe you have a choice who to believe a man who doesn't have all knowledge a man who doesn't have who doesn't know the future a man who does not know the power of the miracle worker he tells you something make your choice but jesus the creator the miracle worker the healer the one that has the power to raise the dead he says be not afraid i'm still alive jesus is still alive is still the problem solver it will solve your problem is still the promise keeper it will keep his promise it will touch you today you'll never be the same again in jesus name only believe and as soon as he said that look at verse 41 in verse 41 and he took the damsel by the hand and said unto her Talita Komai, which is being interpreted, damsel, I say unto thee, say it aloud, arise. And as soon as Jesus said that, and he will speak to you today, arise from the bondage, arise from the yoke, arise from the trauma, arise from the demon possession arise from that disease arise get away from that spirit of death it will happen he said i say unto thee arise and then verse 42 here is your story and straightway the damsel arose and walked straightway immediately that child that was dead and people already crying outside and then at the veranda oh me oh mine how can this happen this one is still young jesus said shut up your enemies will shut up those who are crying for you they will now laugh joy will come to your family remember be not afraid only believe only believe you believe christ you believe in god you believe the sacrifice he made on the cross of calvary and straightway immediately the damsel arose and walked for she was of the age of 12 years and they were astonished with a great astonishment now your own miracle has arrived christ is here i said christ is there the savior is there the healer is there the deliverer is there and whosoever shall call on the name of the lord will be saved 
will be healed, will be delivered, will come alive. Are you ready? Are you ready? It's bowed and eyes closed. It's bowed and eyes closed. The Lord wants to set you free from sin, from the shackles of Satan. He wants to set you free from your guilt, from the condemnation. He wants to set you free from the powerlessness against temptation in your life. He wants to set you free and give you forgiveness and give you salvation. It can happen right now that you'll be able to see it. You'll be able to have a normal mind, peace of mind, rest in your soul. You'll be able to have freedom from guilt and condemnation. Wherever you are, you raise up your hand. You say, Lord Jesus, I'm here. You've been talking to me. You've been telling me you are going to give me freedom tonight and I've been waiting for this time I'll have the chance to only believe to believe in my Savior who died for me here I am Lord raise up that hand if you're raising up your hand please stand up and say Lord I want your salvation I want your freedom I want your forgiveness I want your regeneration, a renewed life, a renewed heart, a renewed mind. And I want total freedom from the yoke, from the shackles of my sins. Set me free, Lord. Wherever you are, just raise up your hand and stand up and say, Lord, I'm here. That freedom, that forgiveness, that salvation comes to me tonight. We're going to pray, so hurry up and stand in the cage that I want total freedom from the bondage of my sin. We're going to pray now. Keep on standing and keep your hands raised in the cage to the Lord. I want the freedom you have brought. Father, in Jesus' name, we well, thank you because you love us so much you don't want us to die you don't want us to perish you do not want us to end in the eternal lake of fire therefore you have sent the lord jesus to be our savior to be our redeemer you have sent jesus to be the one that gives that grants us total freedom lord i pray for all here and all everywhere and all online radio television anywhere that want your total freedom from every form of sin deliver them and save them in jesus name according to your promise forgive everyone who repents according to your promise forgive everyone and give them freedom as they believe on the lord jesus christ and i pray lord that you that chain that those fetters and the shackles of sin will not pull them back into their past life again in jesus name and i pray they will not perish they will live in christ they will live through Christ. They will live for Christ. Confirm the freedom and the salvation for everyone believing right now in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord, for the freedom, for the salvation, for the peace of mind, for the rest in their soul. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there and they will give you the sleep to feel so we can keep on helping you to remain in the freedom, salvation, 
that the Lord has given you now. We're we'll calling on our uh, moderating overseer to help us now with this counseling session. Let's attend to everyone. Let's attend to every one of them. You are welcome to the kingdom of God. There is joy in heaven over your life. Let's attend to them. Cancel us. Take them one by one. Give them the name by which you are known. State to them your, the, uh, the streets where you live, the nearest bus stop. Let them know if today is your first day of giving your life to the Lord or maybe you were once born again, you went back to the world, now you are restored. Let them know it's restoration. Cancel us, write down all. Cancel us. Even when you finish, remain where you are. There's still another assignment. Remain where you are. And when you have finished, please you raise the red flag so that we know you finished where you are. The rest of us, as we are waiting, get prepared for your miracle you can see the problem Jesus solved what is it in your life is it disease or sicknesses it will take them away today supernatural freedom for you are there cells in your body dead is going to quicken them and make them alive. Get ready. You can even start saying bye bye to your problems because you will not see them again after the prayer. After the last amen, you will not see them again. Cancel us. When you finish where you are, look to where there are still people and attend to them. If you finish in any of these spots, raise the flag up and let's know you finished. If you gave your life to the Lord and they have not attended to you, wave your hand at them. They come to you. The counselors are those either in choir uniform or in their own vests. Let's be fast. At the middle, have you finished?
indicates if you are finished. Counselors, remain where you are. Don't go to your seats. Remain where you are. It's almost time for miracles to flow. It will touch you. Tell yourself it will touch me. It's going to touch you. Touch every part of your life. Diseases, sicknesses, dead cells, or whatsoever problem you have been going through. Today is the obituary. You won't see them any longer. They disappear from your life. It appears at the middle you finish. Those by my right hand side, have you finished? Okay, God bless you. You finish there. At my left hand side, have you finished? I'm not seeing hands. Left hand side, have you finished? Okay, here. At the extreme there, have you finished? Okay, counselors, remain where you are. Do we assist the people as the pastor pray? You listen to all instruction, there will be a confirmation upon your lives, upon your life. There shall be showers of blessings. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. You stand up for your miracle. If you cannot walk, you saw all that has been happening in every country, get ready to walk. Praise the Lord. I am ready for my miracle. You are now sage. Your own freedom. You declare it. Your own freedom. And when you announce and declare, nobody can reverse that. You will give testimony. You will experience total freedom. Today will be the beginning of a new vibrant life for you in Jesus' name. Identify the problem you have and lay one hand there and raise up the other hand. Remember, we having the same spirit of faith. We believe and therefore we have spoken. She said and she got it. You say it, you will get it. Raise up one hand, lay the other hand where you have the challenge. Focus on your healing, focus on the miracle, focus on the great possibility of the name of Jesus and it is done. Father, we come to you. You are a God of love, a God of mercy, a God of compassion, a God that has never failed and you will not fail any of your people here today in Jesus name. And those who are online, everywhere, every congregation, every community, every country, Lord, I pray, touch everyone in Jesus' name. As the 12 year old issue of blood dried up, I pray, 
all the plagues, all the sicknesses, all the disease, all the pain, everything dry up now in Jesus' name. Lord, touch the brain, touch the mind, touch the bones, touch every part of their lives, touch them where they ache, touch them where they have pain. Touch them when they have any disease. And I pray every form of disease will vanish away in Jesus' name. Blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Deaf ears begin to hear in Jesus' name. Dumb tongues be loose and begin to speak in Jesus' name. Steve joints, elbow, shoulder, ankle, wherever, all the stiffness vanish away in Jesus' name. Incurable so-called disease be healed right now. And those uh, demon oppressions, oppressions in any life, you demon, whatever number I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Lord, I pray everything they found impossible in the past will be possible right now. They believe you, I believe you, we believe you together. And I pray your mighty power be manifested in every life for total freedom in their body and total healing in their body and total deliverance in their lives right now in Jesus' name. Confirm the miracle everywhere to the right, to the left, to the back, to the center, everywhere, the power for freedom. The power that sets every captive free. And the power that breaks every yoke. And the power that removes every disease, every sickness, manifest right now in everyone, in Jesus' name. Immediate miracle instantaneous miracle immediate healing instantaneous healing deliverance for everyone joy everywhere manifestation everywhere deliverance demonstration of god's power everywhere right now thank you lord thank you lord thank you lord we know it is done in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. It is done. You see it right there. The miracle has happened already. And as you discover the miracle, you start coming out. Want to hear your testimony.